What is going on, everybody? Welcome back to a brand new week. Bulwark Falconer Chronicles came out last week. It came out on the 26th. Been playing a ton of it. I did a video on this a while back talking about the demo before that came out. And this has been a lot of fun. I've been having a lot of fun with this game. And so hope hope you've been too if you've if you've gotten it already. But I want to show off some of the stuff I've been doing in Bulwark Falconer Chronicles. Uh, I'm on the menu here just to show off that there is Twitch integration. I don't stream on Twitch. But you can stream. If you stream on Twitch, you can add in Twitch integration, which allows you to just have your chat interact, but more inside of the world. But let's get into what I've been doing. So uh, I'll probably have a little bit of narration. Oh, no, because I skipped through it. So I've had three running campaigns just to see what I can do. So the first off I'm going to show you is, yes, I know, I know, I know. I'm going to I'm going to skip the developer notes but the first one i've been doing is the faction i've been is the empyrean and i've really been testing a lot of the building one of the things you can set is you can well a lot of things you can set is you can set the resource depletion so i had that enabled there's raids encounters extraction rangers and you can also choose how many extractors you have which extractors i talked about this in my demo preview that you can extract things like uh, wood and ore and iron. So let's jump into what I have been doing in this particular Imperial campaign. So, the dominant factor in our yeah, I know. I'm gonna skip all that, but as you can see, oh, I'm just getting a bunch of a bunch of achievements. As you can see, man, it's been pretty nuts. Like, look at all I've been doing. This is my main settlement. I know, I know. I know I'm prospering. There's all kinds of things going on, but yeah, if I tab up, you can see all of the resources. You can see everything going in and going out. How many workers, wood, stone, and iron I got going out in my uh, alignment. You can see that the uh, look like the mancers, yeah, uh, yeah, the mancers and the bannerless, which are the pirate faction, and I'll talk about them in just a second. And uh, they're a little bit intimidated. So yeah, I've been expanding, man. It's been kind of crazy to see how much you can expand. And once I kind of figured out, like a lot of things are just based on distance rather than amount of things. But once you like start connecting, once you get cooking, you can really, really cook in this game. It's kind of nuts. So I'm gonna I'm gonna go a little bit forward, just kind of go forward with my survey and show you all of the things I got going on. Look at this settlement. It's crazy. One of the things I wish that I had that this game had was just people walking around. But now I realize if there were people walking around in this, this game would probably die <laughs> of a frame rate. It'd actually be insane. So yeah, look at what's going on here. So I got, I'm a, I'm going to back up over here. So it all really started. Uh, I'll take it back this way. It all really started with this particular wood bill over here. Started on the top, and then you can see I got multiple, multiple harbors set up with my captains, uh, just transporting various goods to various locations. And then we expanded outward. You got towers here and there and everywhere. And then it looks like I think the ore is here, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. The stone, not stone. No, I keep saying ore, but store, stone. Or it's pretty much the same thing. I'm working on like settler Catan rules. But yeah, so you can really, really expand. It's kind of nuts. I'm gonna look at my map. So as you can see, there's a lot going on over here. I got multiple trade routes and I kind of assimilate. You can assimilate other factions into your fold. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go over to the Naughty Look Basilisk, which is the bannerless pirate faction. I'm gonna travel over that way and make sure i got my, set my keys right and then we're just gonna we're just gonna fly we're just flying over oh oh yeah i need to actually go over there i was in not in surveyor mode all right so let's fly over there and what's cool is that you'll always see where your home base is so that arrow right there will always point to where your home is it's like true north basically but even though north is that way and then you'll see a question mark and that'll be basically anything you find that's interesting in the world that your uh your settler will basically tell you what things are so like if, if you see a ship or if you see a settlement or if something is just like points of interest like pois 
So we're going to go over to this pirate faction. So I've been kind of talking to them. In the yes. Thank you, Advisor Atlanta. I forgot your name. But, yeah. Let's talk to them. I was actually at war with them just a little bit ago. So let's see if we can play nice. I know. What? You've never seen a basilica? Yeah, so my alignment is not very high right now. Because if it was high, I could do things like invite them to join or demand them surrender or negotiate peace. But that would be if I declared war on them. But I don't want to do that. Don't really need a trade harbor with them. So, yeah. All right. Perhaps. Refugee settlement, the so that is that. Is now the dominant yeah, so you'll hear like a bunch of stuff that Advisor Atlan will say to you. Things like, we have, we are now the dominant faction, and when I tab up, you can see that one faction has more than the others. You can see their alignment is more dominant, even though the Freemans are, have more population than the Imperium. Uh, the Imperium is definitely more dominant because that's the main faction I'm working we with. Are but humble refugees. So now we have more we Imperium. Are, we, are, we are but humble refugees. I know. So we're going to go down here and we're going to disassemble them. Because we don't need them in the middle of the ocean. We don't really need them in the middle of the ocean. So. And maybe we'll find a place to put them. And you can actually have multiple uh, refugee settlements in your in your in your surveyor so you can just put them out in whatever what i'm gonna do now is i'm gonna tr i'm gonna fast travel over to this wood mill and see what i can put down and tab away from there and so yeah this really was just me figuring out all of the building and just see how much i can do so we're gonna yeah so i can make a tower but what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna drop this manser which is what Oh no, this is the Imperium. This Imperium settlement right here. Excellent. We have an outpost that provides workers. I know. Be mindful of an outpost's allegiance. Yeah. This so is the balance of power for your settlement. That's actually interesting that he says that because it's good for me to point out that at, you can build uh you can build faction settlements next to each other, but if you try to if you kind of make more one or the other you'll get some some bad blood between the factions so you kind of have to balance between how much trade or how much resources one is getting and so i'm going to add this to the overall production of it and then i'm going to make it a large outpost there's no iron available for this upgrade. oh yeah there's no iron so i need iron so certain upgrades like stone and iron you need to upgrade towers and but we can expand our world look at this we can make platforms all kinds of things and I could create a tower which I'm definitely gonna do right now <laughs> I just made a tower and I can upgrade that which can make another platform and what's helpful is that platforms will help to create more towers like this one because we're in the middle of the ocean so what are we doing and so what it is is just we're just increasing the, the amount be built in the deep by your surveyor I know, but we can build more towers. So we're just gonna keep we're just gonna keep going, no man. Iron available for this upgrade. I know, it's crazy. So realistically, you can just Only keep expanding and surveyor. expanding and expanding and expanding. And because resource depletion is enabled, yeah, resources will be depleted. And I could even connect this to this so you can get more resources, but it kind of doesn't make sense as to how it is. So that was something I figured out too. Like the way that these arrows go is if resource depletion is, in, resource depletion is enabled on this, you kind of have to figure out where things are going or how things are traveling. Because you can see it kind of looks like a mess almost. It kind of looks like a lot. Like it is literally just a web of craziness so it yeah it's, it, it it is pretty nuts has entered our waters oh nice on the map. yeah so i could go get the a imperial ship. remnant is now the dominant uh, factor in our settlement yeah a renaissance of the great imperial ages of course past. we are truly the only future for the earth of course even if some might deny us progress. they might deny us might deny us progress so we're gonna go back to here to this harbor and we are going to go to 
this ship here because we need more ship captains. Ruffians are all that is left in this world. May the yes. water take their splinters. Grant me safety and I right. will grant you my ship. So each captain does have an alignment, but they also have the what they can travel. So he can will ferry wood, iron and stone. Some will iron stone and people, some will iron just people, some will iron all of it. So it just depends on what it is. So I'll go over to this harbor and I'll show you what I mean. This is a harbor origin. Now house enough aligned population to attract a faction leader. Yeah. So look at that. So I can assign a captain, which Anything there's no captain people. here. Keep that right. My ship carries wood. Yeah. So I can either do this guy, Slop, or not so Captain Hibbard, who can just transport wood, Anything or Keep Captain right. Talonson, who's a merchant man who will ferry off wood iron and stone and depending on where it is you can pick wherever you want but i'm just this gonna pick him do. it's nice and quiet i appreciate you finding a place for me yeah so eventually if if i if i get to it during this campaign a, a battle could break out between trade routes because pirates or other type of bandits will try to attack my trade routes but it is what it is. Um, well, I could build another settlement. I could do that. I don't know what I would connect it to because I have really nothing to connect it to. Let's do this. What are you doing? Could I make a new tower? I could make a new tower. I could totally do that. There is no iron available for this upgrade. I know. So I'll make a tower here and then there is no stone available for this upgrade. I know. All right, so then we'll drop this settlement that I just picked up a little bit ago. Drop it here. Excellent. Because why not? We have an why wouldn't I do that? that? Provides workers. Tab out. Be mindful of an outpost's allegiance. This influences the balance of power for your settlement. Actually, let's tab back in because I need to see where this is going. Yeah, there we go. There is no uh, stone available for this upgrade. I know. I understand that. So now we just have wood and workers come into this particular one. So I could, if it's far enough, connect it to this. And then just now, now I'm getting stone. Because now I connected it to a different place that is getting stone. So it's really cool. And I can upgrade it to a large outpost. A raiding uh, party. All right, here we go. Here we go. There we go. It is right there. All right, let's go over. Let's see what's going on. Let's battle against them. And you don't really have to do anything. If you played the Falconeer, it's really cool because you're basically, this is basically a top-down view of what you'd be doing in a game like the Falconeer. And so let's see what happens. Let's see if I can protect it. Yep. The Surveyor will protect and also have little buddies that will help me. Let's keep going. Let's keep going. Oh, yeah, we're wiping them out. Get out of here. Oh, yeah. Great victory. Clear Experience skies. gains. Nice. So now I'm experienced. And I think that means I could be adding something. Like a new... Oh, no. Just a battle group experience. And battler. Um, it just shows me the types of surveyors I have. But also while I'm here, it just shows you the type of structures, which I do not have. That, nor do I have constructs, which I haven't really gotten to yet. So you have your world map, you have your soul tree, which shows you your Imperium. I mean, not your Imperium, your faction alignment. So it has all of your captains, all the ones that you've recruited so far. So I haven't found all of them yet, but I'm working, I'm working my way through it. So yeah. Yeah, so we're going to go over here and yeah, that's this campaign. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to save. Save and close, actually. And I'm gonna go. I'm gonna show you my other campaign. Something uh, that you can do is this you can is declare war. Model. I know. I know. I've done it. Click. Yes. So this one, I started off as the pirates, as the, as the bannerless, and my idea was, is I'm gonna go. Have seen our settlement as a danger to them. Uh huh. Their forces are muster. Yeah. So I've started a war with the mancers i just went over and said i'm gonna declare war because why not we're pirates we're gonna loot and plunder we're gonna do that 
So we're just going to go over and we're going to fight and see how bad badly we can beat them. Because honestly, the last fight I had with them was pretty bad. I think I got wiped out. Uh, but what will happen is they'll just rebuild you a new surveyor. So let's go. Let's, let's get over to it. We got this. The music is really peaceful too, though. It's really cool to just hover over the waters, just explore and build and basically do whatever you want. I, like I said, like I said, my previous video is really, really cool. Major hostile I know. Let's do it. Yourself. I'm ready. We're in war. Let's fight. Fight her. I know. Yeah. And the fact that, I mean, I'm literally at their enemy base. So look at all their falconeers and their their warships and their turrets. I know they're coming after me because I don't even have any of my falconeers with me. So, exactly. Destroyed. I know. Luckily, you made it out in one piece. We yeah. are building you a replacement now. A new surveyor has been constructed at great cost. Do take care of this one. I know. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Um, I think what I didn't have at the time is that I didn't have stone. Yeah, I think what I... I do have stone, but I don't have iron. That was the thing I was looking for. Because I didn't see any iron anywhere. And I was like, you know what? I'll just take it. <laughs> I'll, I'll just take the iron. So what we're going to do, like true ply, like the true pies we are, we're going to go One Piece style and just go from island to island. Oh, man, this would be an amazing one piece game if this if they made a one piece game that was just this my gosh it would be incredible and i have not watched nor read that much one piece so i wouldn't know how like that'd be crazy because i mean there's a lot of island hopping in in one piece you're going from island to island over over dangerous waters so and fighting people with double food powers and whatnot that would be fun that would be really fun now that i think about it so we're going over here to see what kind of trouble that we can get into. See if there's anything over here. I don't remember seeing anything, but I know it just depends. Yeah, okay, there we go. There is stone over here. Not stone, iron. So maybe I can set up a trade harbor to this. So they can build a mine on this spot. Yeah. Workers will mine for all, and the metallurgical industry will be built up around it. Right. And will allow our most advanced towers and buildings. So I'm going to set up a harbor that can transport. The refugee settlement has been spotted on the horizon. Perhaps there we go. Look at that. And I have a captain for it. Perfect. I know. All right. Um, back out of here. Oh, there's a settlement. So I could just go over that way. Grab that settlement and then probably build up near my main one. Or I could build a settlement. I'll build a settlement and they'll build a settlement near my carry no grudge. Be brave. This meager holding was always a last resort. Yeah. Free house alignment. Home. Demolish this temporary haven so we can rebuild upon a spot of You know what? This. No free houses. We're going all pirates. Yeah, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it differently. I'm gonna do it differently. All pirates. Nothing but the bannerless. No faction alignment with anybody. We are the bannerless. We want for nobody, even though I think my alignment I have Oh no no, it's just the population of free houses. But I have like no alignment with them basically. Um uh, alright, where do I set up this other trade harbor? I'm going to set it up right here, kind of near my outpost. So, there we go. Oh, there we go. The route is now connected. The captain can transport their specific goods back and forth. Nice. And then we'll travel to here. And see things are flowing so now we got workers and iron but we have no wood so we can't I don't think I can build anything because I don't really have any wood to build anything 
So I need to find a captain that has the ability to transport wood and stone. So maybe I can find that out there in the world somewhere. Don't see any. I don't see any. We have reports of something strange. Oh, something strange ahead? Uh-oh. Hold on. I'm gonna we go that way. Under fire. Oh, they're trying to attack me. They're trying to attack my my stuff. Why would I run away from that? Come on. Because we're near Mancer territory. Come on, we can do this. We can beat them. We can beat them. Get them. Get them. Get them. Come on. Oh, no. They're bolstering their ranks. Oh, no. This war is never going to end. Snap. Yeah, I think I'm going to lose again. I think I'm going to lose. I think I'm going to lose. Oh, no. Okay. Retreat. 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 No. Okay. Oh, man. We are building you a replacement. I know, man. That's a bummer. A new surveyor has been constructed at great cost. Yes, at great cost. All right. So, do I need a harbor for here? But I don't have a captain that can transport. I don't have any captains for this. Do you have any captains here? Oh, I do have captains. Captains active. Okay. Dismiss. Dismiss. Unassign. Dismiss. Okay, I do have captains. All right. So what I can do. Is I can assign it this captain. Your and I transport is that I will carry so my ship only carries wood and workers. A new home. Seeing it prosper fills Yeah, me great. With I'll do that. And then I'll create a trade route from stone. I can build one out here. Yes. I will carry stone and workers only. Brings me joy to see Thank you. Arriving. No more restless nights for me. I know. And then we'll transport to here. To continue to build. Oh. Attack. Oh, no. Hostiles ahead. All falconeers and escorts defend our ship. I know. Hold on. Let me build up this harbor first. <laughs> I know. Let me build the harbor and then I'll fight. Let me let me build the harbor and then I can Trade fight. Is now connected. The captain can transport their specific goods back and forth. Yes, I know. And look at that. We got iron, stone, wooden workers. We're we're moving. We're moving. All right. Here's what we do. We'll just continue to build. So we'll build, I think I can get this to a command post, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Have no available oh, I don't have any commanders. Okay. Commanders and their valuable retinue can be found across the ocean. That's true. Okay. I need commanders. So we'll just build out. There keep is no building. Stone available for this upgrade. Maybe we'll connect it to this. <laughs> so it's kind of like some weird cycle. All right. Uh, okay. There's that. And then we'll go here. Connect that to this, I guess. Yeah, that seems to work. <laughs> that seems legit. All right. So let's we'll go out here. Build another tower. Zoom in. 
and build more floors for no reason other than for vibes. Okay. Yeah, so I need to wait. To, I need to find commanders out there. But he's not a commander. That is another... That's just a ship captain. But we'll get a ship captain. We'll get the ship captain, and then if I don't find any commanders... Oh, no. The war. The war, war rages. Actually, who are you? Something in the distance there. What are you What are you doing? Oh, did we win? Are we winning? I just saw their health battle go down. I think we were winning that one. <laughs> What's more valuable than a warm heart in these bleak times? Yeah. Well, businesses appear. So, I think that's just businesses appearing in the settlement. I'm not sure what that means because I haven't done much of it. Oh. Okay. Well. All right. I guess that went away. All right. Well, yes. That is the ban that is the banner list. That's my pirate faction. That's the storyline that I've been going with. What's really cool is you can just create your own storyline, and that's what I decided to do. That I'm gonna be the pirates who raid and pillage and become the most dominant faction, even though it's not this working out right now. But this one right here, the Freeman, the Free House, the Freeman. We're about creating a good culture, establishing trade. And also, this is one of the things where I, where I can kind of start to more refine how my building was going. So right now, we have an established trade route with the, the Bannerless Pirates over in the Molten Stream. So... We are prospering. I know. But this prosperity is attracting criminals wishing yeah. to target our trade routes. We need to start taking our trade route security seriously. I, we do. Trade routes we really do. Long resource rich or run past unaligned faction settlements are at increasing risk of being raided yes yeah so this negative right here i need a a commander for the for both of these towers um i think i forget what i was doing in this particular campaign so actually maybe we can establish a trade route with this settlement over here factions at work throughout the earth's their settlements can be sources of trade or targets for conquest. Yeah. When we need resource extractors, these are the places that have them. You decide how they are dealt with. Beware mm -hmm. of the consequences of war. Oh, I know the consequences. This area used to be the primary yeah, source of wood for the entire northern Yeah, so I can establish a trade route, and they need iron, the and they'll trade us wood. Yeah, a trading harbor requires resources that can then be exchanged for goods or mercenaries. Be okay. sure to build a connecting harbor. And I don't even think I have. Do I have iron? No, I've got wood and stone. I don't really have iron. I don't know. Well, I'll find it. <laughs> if I find iron, then I'll give it to them and we can establish a trade route from there. It, it is what it is. So we're this way. It's actually a little day-night cycle, so you can see, see all the stars at night. It's a really cool idea. And everything just flying around. Everything seems peaceful, but we're really taking over the all of the Earthsea. Something I did not mention is that you can go between certain areas. What is that? Who are you? I guess you're just part of the faction. You just showed up. I didn't know where you came from. All right, let's move over here. See how things are flowing. Yeah, things look like they're floating a lot better. Like I said, I tried to refine more of what was actually happening. Instead of going in complete chaos mode and just building anywhere and everywhere, which you still can. You can you can do that to your heart's content. You can probably you can build as far as the eye can see. All right, what do you got? We are but humble refugees. Yeah. Okay. So there's a trade harbor there. And if I build a settlement in this particular area, how good would, what kind of good would that do me? 
This area used to be the primary source of wood for the entire northern area. I know, I know, I know. Well, where can I set up that we settlement? Have I guess a milestone in population, That's great. with the free houses. This will attract new free house captains and commanders to our banner. The free house folk are numerous and That's will true. generally make for the majority of people in our settlement. That's true. A lot of a lot of freemans. Ah, I guess I can't really put it anywhere. Yeah, Freeman will probably always be the. I feel like the biggest faction around just because there's so many of them. Let's move right here. I do Something like the look of my buildings over here. Something is ahead. What is it? Spooky. Spooky. Let's go over this way. Our trading ships are being targeted. Oh no. What's more valuable? What's more I know. I chose that, but there's a battle happening right over here. Oh. I travel here and then move there. Yeah, that's good. Good idea. <laughs> Alright, let's see. Let's see where this battle's happening. It looks like I'm no longer in war with the Manthers, though, even we though I declared war on them. Fire. So somehow they went into a ceasefire. I don't know. There we go. Enemies are wreaking havoc. A wreaking havoc? What? We're doing pretty good. Got an achievement there, so that's pretty nice. Get them. Oh, they're flying back. Oh, man, so they can get more and more. I'm going to crash into them. Where'd he go? Oh, man. He ran away from the whole... Yeah, there we go. Victory. None stand before our forces. Now I wonder once I have victory over them. This all mining operation is under the protection of the Bandalus. Oh wait, I'm thinking I'm thinking of the wrong campaign. I don't think about it. I'm thinking of the wrong campaign. <laughs> uh who are you? This all mining operation. How about this? How about we How about we trade that can then be exchanged for goods or mercenaries? Be sure to build a connecting harbor. How about we trade, man? I, I didn't want to fight you. I don't know why we decided to fight. Oh, wait. We already have a trade. Huh. I'm stupid. <laughs> yeah, that's why I'm, I'm getting more <laughs> getting more confused. Imperium the refugee Citadel. settlement has been spotted on the horizon. Perhaps we can take oh, yeah. people in. That's true. Nah. No refugees. Nothing but... Oh, wait. No, no. We're doing refugees. We are the freemen. What are you talking about? Yeah. I don't know why I left them. Interesting. Well, let's dismantle them. And then we'll go down. <laughs> yeah, I'm totally thinking of the wrong campaign. Never think about it. Crazy. All right. Let's go over here. And then we will jump over to here. A resource called... And then we'll drop our newly acquired Imperium. Excellent. Right here. We have an outpost that provides workers. Be mindful of an outpost's allegiance. This influences the balance of power for your uh, Can I connect to... What can I connect to? You cannot build here. There is no tower with access to wood nearby. Oh, goodness. All right. So we'll do this. We'll expand a little outward. A Milka Tower right here. No. Or make a tower right here. No. Okay. What? What could I do? Mm, I need to make a tower that will connect to this. Okay. 
Okay, here we go. And here. Oh, nice. Okay, there we go. There we go. There's a tower. You cannot build here. There is no tower with access to wood nearby. Oh, does he not have access to wood? <laughs> Whoops. So maybe... There we go. There we go. Now we connected. Now we're cooking. Now we're cooking. Now let's look at this Freeman house. Let's build it up. And I really like how cool this is. How much the buildings go and go and go. Cool. So I could double. I could totally keep going on this game, but man, I didn't realize how much time time it has been. But man, this is a fun game. Like I said. Before, you totally should check out Bulwark Falconer Chronicles if you haven't already. Been having a blast with it. Let me know if you've been playing Bulwark Falconer Chronicles in the comments. I would love to hear and see your buildings. I would love to know. Check me, uh, follow me on, on threads and maybe shoot me a message and shoot me some pictures of what you've been doing in Bulwark Falconer Chronicles. But thank you so much for watching. I got another wide game coming out this week on Wednesday. It'll be a new game, totally different than what I did with Shaq Fu, but be sure to keep it locked here. Like, share, subscribe to the channel. My name is Chike, and I will see you on the next one. Peace out.